Nine, no help. Jack, no help. Eight, possible flush. King, possible flush. Ace, no help. Six, possible straight. Dave of love for the dealer. Ace bets. Check. 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 Mr. President? There is one fruit. Oh, please. There is one fruit. Mr. President, check a bet, sir. Those are your choices. There is one fruit. Well, you should feel free to give us a quiz on inane trivia. There is one fruit whose <laughs> seeds are on the outside. Name it, please. Is it the kumquat? No. <laughs> oh, check a bet, sir. I bet five. Oh. <clears throat> Sip. Fold. Sit. Caught. I see it, and I raise you five. Uh-huh. Trouble. Mr. President? It's the strawberry. Oh, oh, that's oh right. Well, thank you, sir. I just raised your bed. Yes, you did, Toby. And I thought it was a bold move when you consider that Leo is holding the six you're looking for. Do you call the race, sir? It depends. It depends on what? There are 14 uh -huh. punctuation marks in standard English grammar. Can anyone name them, please? Period. Comma. Colon. Semicolon. Dash. Hyphen. Uh, apostrophe. That's only seven. There's seven more. Question mark, exclamation point, quotation marks, brackets, parentheses, braces, and ellipses. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Do you call the raise, sir? There are three words in the English language, and three words only, that begin with the letters DW. This is a pretty good illustration of why we get nothing done. <laughs> Can anyone name them for me, please? Three words that begin with the letters DW. Yes. Dwindle. Yes. Dwarf. Yes. Dwindle. Twank. Dwindle and dwarf. <laughs> Come on, Princeton. We got Dwindle. We got dwarf. Uh, I see you five and raise you five, by the way. Dwarf. Dwindle. Fold. Fold. Last card down. A witch's brew, a magic spell. An enchanted forest where? There is dwell. Uh, dwell. Dwell. Dwindle, dwarf, and dwell. Well, the answer's correct, but let's check with our judges and say, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> time expired. What? What time? My time. You have your own time? <laughs> <laughs> I call. Trip nines. Ooh. Take your money, sir. <laughs> you dwell to report that to the IRS, because God knows I will. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm gonna head home. Kiss Jenny for me. Yeah, I will. Sam, I'm going back to the office. They got the commerce report ready for me. What are you doing? I was gonna go home. Sam, I'm going back to the office. They got the commerce report ready for me. What are you doing? I'm gonna go back to your office with you. Make sure you understand the commerce report. <laughs> Thank you. When I get through with you, you're gonna know everything there is to know about standard data versus sampling data in the census. Charlie, I'm headed over to the residence. You're done for the night. Thank you, sir. I'm going to stay a bit to do some paperwork. I'll stay up too late, son. How'd you do? 84 bucks. Most of that's mine. What's that? Excuse me, Mr. President. I'm sorry. The building's not secure. Would everyone stay in the room, please? This is happening way too often. It's pledge week at the fraternities. The kids hop the fence. Do you mind stepping away from the doors and windows, please? This whole room is doors and windows. Josh. I'm cooperating. I'm cooperating. Let's be under control in just a minute, Mr. President. All right. What body of water in South America is formed by the confluence of... Excuse me, Wink Martindale. Do you really think this is the time? Not quite up on your South American maritime geography there, my friend. We're clear. Saved by the bell. This is the kind of thing that didn't used to happen at my old job.